Hi, this is Rochelle Scrapcraftastic, and I'm going to do a quick Michaels haul. Um, first thing that I got was these Me and My Big Ideas planner stamps. I had decided that I wasn't going to buy any more stamps because I somewhat stopped using them as much as I was before. But this was such a nice complete set that I went ahead and got it. I think I had a 50 or 60% off coupon for this. And I liked it because the double digit days are together. So I don't have to try to put the numbers together for my stamps. So I always look for um, date stamps with the two digit numbers together. That makes it so much easier. And then I thought this font was kind of nice. So I'm going to give these a try. Add them to my planner stamp collection. So let me give you a closer look at that. Okay. And again, that's me and my big ideas. Here is the... Oh, let me see if I can the barcode information I'm trying to get it where it's not a glare okay okay so there's that then I finally broke down and picked up this yellow personal size recollections creative year planner it's the same as all the others it has the same insides pop this off um let's bend it back a little bit these were on clearance but I didn't feel like the clearance price was good enough and I was trying to wait and see if it went down they had three of them when I first started looking at them and when I went the other day there was only one left so I went ahead and grabbed it and it's a good thing because on a later visit to Michael's I found that they had the yellow ones back on the shelf with the full price ones so I mean basically I paid the same thing pretty much I would have paid with a coupon with a good coupon so but I don't know what it was about the yellow it really caught my eye I know we're coming into fall and winter and so I'll probably just hold on to this or next year for spring or in summer so but I just, I love the color and I wanted it. So I waited around and I finally got it. Then also on clearance, this was like a, an impulse buy. I picked up these little poofs. I got some stuck in this one already. But yeah, this was just an impulse buy. And I thought these would be cute on my Webster's pages. Or on my, uh, I have a black planner also that this might be cute on even though this isn't a tr I don't think this is black this might be like a blue black but I thought they would look it would look nice on this planner so I picked that up and then I also picked up a hot pink one I have a, a, a fuchsia planner like this and it also looks cute on there as well and I, I, these can also be used on Traveler's Notebook because they have the loop here. So in addition to the lobster class, they have the loop. So I could actually take this off. Here's a Traveler's Notebook. Let me show you. It's just like two lobster clasps. So I can take this off of here and actually put it on my band. And just have a poof on my band or I can put it here on the spine and have a poof on my spine either way so I thought those these were a pretty decent deal just because they have a double lobster class and say I don't I use this here I can put another charm or something on this class and use it for something completely different so kind of got like a two-in-one thing going on right there and that is all of the goody goody stuff that I got from Michaels. Now let's move on to my most favorite thing of all. I got three paper pads. Three of the new paper pads. And I'm just going to do a quick flip through. 
This is Antique Street. This is this one I got because of the florals and the colors mostly. So I've already cut these open. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. First off, let me say I'm not too big of a fan of that paper. <laughs> um, you know I love the floral. This is pretty. This is unique and different. Even though I don't like photographic, they kind of saved it a little bit with the um, the gold foil on it. There's a lot of plain papers in this pad. Not a fan. I really like this page. And I love all of these cut aparts. And it's so cool that they have this in here. I have designed this, ex well, something very similar to this for a library pocket template that I have coming out soon. It may be out by the time you see this video. But yeah, so you can, you'll have your own library card template to print from. And I really like this combination page where they have a little combo of everything. So that's it. And this one is Antique Street. And it is a Craftsmith paper pad. And it's a hot buy paper pad from Michaels. All of these are hot buy. All of them are Craftsmith. This one is Autumn Dream. And I want to get my um, traveler's notebook all ready to go for fall. So this is why I picked this paper up. Now this wood texture I really like. And maybe I'll make a folder with that. I don't know. I think they really nailed fall with this paper pad. Lots of browns and deep rich oranges. So I think this will make a lot of nice dashboards. Um, folders and envelopes and this last one is serenity again hot by paper pad by craftsmith and i thought this was a nice light and airy fall paper that that i could well paper that i could use for fall and it has a lot of the copperish or rose goldish um tone to it Let me see if that will fit. See if I cut this design out. How much I would have to crop it. Would it fit in a 5 by 7 I don't think that's gonna, that would work. And it'd have to crop too much. Maybe I could make it work in another way though. But I always try to think of a way to use those those large 12 by 12 designs without cutting into the design itself these are like blue greens it's a very light but still not vibrant bright colors like spring or summer they're very muted understated tones that could also work for fall So that's it. That's all my haul for now. If I get anything else, I'll be back. Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrap Craftastic, and I am super excited 
to do this part of the haul. This is Tuesday, September the 12th. Our power just was restored about 30 minutes ago. Um, I'm in Orlando, Florida, in case you didn't know, which is Central Florida. And our power went out on Sunday night, which was the 10th, around 9 or 9.30. And it has been so incredibly hot, but luckily we have a generator and we had some fans going and we were able to save our food in the refrigerator and everything. But I'm just excited to have the electricity on. We still don't have internet access, but I'm going to do what I can without that. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the haul. This morning, when I went out looking to find some a grocery store just to see what stores were open, um, all the Starbucks were closed except for the one inside of the Target. There was a long line around the store, but while I was in Target, I went back to the school supply section and actually found these black post-it notes. I got several packs, but I had been looking for these and they were actually on clearance, so I picked them up and you can use these with um, metallic pens, markers, some of the uh, gel pens will work with these. So I don't really use post-its, but because these were black, these are special. I had to have them. And I will definitely be using them in my planning because they are, they are unique. So let's take a look at one. Okay. So they obviously work really well. Really like these. I'll probably end up playing more with them than actually doing any real planning. But yep, they work great with these. This is the, um, oh, what are they called? Jelly Roll pen from Michaels. So, and this is what it looks like. So, love those. Okay, prior to Irma, I went to Joanne like several days before we started really prepping for that. And I, was, I just wanted to look around and see what kind of planners they had. I hadn't been in Joanne in weeks, maybe over a month. And so I went in there to see what they had. I wanted something inexpensive because I want to do a Christmas um, planner setup. And I've had a lot of requests for A5 things. So I looked up and found one of my favorite companies, Die Cuts with a View, this planner. It is an A5. Let's take it out of the plastic. It is not really a great quality. It's kind of flimsy, but for the price, I wouldn't expect much more. It was, I think it's $19.99, and I believe I used a 60% off coupon for it. So, yeah, it's pretty flimsy but I think I can spruce it up this is cloth um, I can spruce it up quite a bit with how I decorate it um, it does have a little pen loop here just a little piece of red string I mean for what I paid for it I'm not even going to complain about it it will it will serve the purpose for me for Christmas so and I also picked up this foil I've been wanting to try using my laser printer for uh, gold foil or silver foil or holographic foil this was on clearance so I picked it up I don't remember how much it was but it was on clearance and then 
to prep my Christmas planner. This will be used for the month of December. I picked up these two glitter papers because the paper was on sale. I picked up this pretty heavy duty red card stock. And I picked up this Christmas paper. Two sheets of that. And I also picked up these cut aparts. And last, and I couldn't resist this paper. This is just, you all know I like floral, so I don't even have to explain this one. <laughs> and then I got this Halloween stripe paper because I am also working on a Halloween setup in my pocket size traveler's notebook. So these are just the papers that I picked up. Then, I also, during prep time, did a quick Dollar Tree stop. I picked up this self-inking stamp. Thank you. And I also picked up these cards. Thank you cards and a blank note card. So this one is just the dog on the bike. Ice cream cone says thanks. That was totally cool of you. And thank you. These are blank on the inside. Okay. I think that's pretty much it for everything that I hauled. Um, let's move some of this out of the way. Because I also have an unboxing that I've been holding on to since Wednesday or Thursday of last week. It's just been sitting, waiting for me to have time. This package is from Mystic's Little Gifts. So this is the vintage Ristretto with pink bands, light pink bands and stitching. Let's see if I can get it out of the baggie. This is an A5. So I'm getting bigger and bigger <laughs> with them. So let's see what she looks like. Front pocket, back pocket this time. I need to save this. So go check out Mystic's Little Gifts. I'm going to leave the link below. And I'll also link up top. And if you use my code Rochelle20, that's R-A-C-H-E-L-L-E-2-0, -E you will receive 20% off your order. All the Traveler's Notebooks that you've seen me using are from Mystic's Little Gifts. And this one, I think I really went all out for it. Because it was bigger, that's why I went ahead and got the pockets and the pen loop and the reinforced spine. So yeah, I usually just get keep them as plain as possible, but this time I wanted all the bells and whistles. So, so I'm going to use this um, May Designs book as an example. I don't think these are quite five and a half by eight and a half. So they're five by eight. So, yep. So imagine another half an inch. And of course, you could use the May Design books. They fit perfectly. So anyway, yes, I'm happy that the power is on. I'm happy to finally open my traveler's notebook from mystics little gifts and to show you also this red planner that i will be using for christmas and i guess that is it for now let me know in the comments below if you have any questions thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye